Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are going to take a look at this computer cabinet and this is the Sharkoon VG6W ATX PC case. I got this for about 4000 rupees, really expensive. Usually I don't like to spend that much money on a computer case but this is a one time purchase and the main reason I got this uh, case is because of the four USB ports up front. So this particular case comes with two USB 3 ports and two USB 2.0 ports. So I don't have to install any third party hardware to get extra ports. And if you look on the internet, it is very difficult to find a cabinet or a case that comes with four USB ports up front. So this was one of the only options that I could find. Uh, so I went with it. I got this for 4000 rupees and if you remember a couple of months ago I built myself a new computer and because I had spent all my money on the uh, hardware on that I didn't have enough money left for the case. So after a couple of months I have been able to save enough money and I bought myself uh, this case. Now this case uh, comes in two variants uh, one with ARGB which is addressable RGB and one with a solid single color. Usually uh, I would prefer a case without any LEDs because I'm not a fan of illuminated cases but this was the only options available so I got the one with the uh, blue colored option. As I said I got this for about 4000 rupees so let's just take a look at what the case looks like from inside. Let me put it here and run it through the case. So inside the case the first thing that you will see it's a decent size uh, manual so as you can see this is how the case looks again the model number VG6 it comes with three 120 millimeter fans installed and the manual will help you install different components in different orientation so you can take a look at this once you buy this case so there is that so let me just take the case out and then we'll take a look at how the case looks from inside All right, so I've got the case on top of this box. So let me just remove the polythene so that we can see how it looks from inside. So there it is. This is how the case looks from the front. As you can see, it comes with four USB ports, two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports. Here is your microphone and headphone jack. Here is your reset switch. And at the bottom, you will find that this is your on off button. And here is a small LED and these eyes that you see here are also LEDs and this is how the case looks from the front. Alright guys so this is the side profile of this case as I mentioned earlier that it comes with an acrylic side panel and I know for 4000 rupees or even less than that you can buy case in the market that comes with a tempered glass but as I said earlier I wanted a case that came with a four USB ports and there weren't many options uh, with that specification but I don't really worry about that because my main concern was to get the four USB ports in the case. I also didn't want any LEDs on the fan. This case comes with three 120 millimeter fans installed, which we will take a look at that. Now let us take a look at the back of this uh, case. Right, so this is the back of the case. And as you can see, the model number is written here, VG6. Now it is from Sharkun Technologies, which is a Germany based company, as you can see here. Now here is your input output uh, IO shield uh, space. As I mentioned, it comes with three pre-installed uh, 120 millimeter fan as you can see one is installed at the back and two you can see inside there it comes with a six uh, expansion slot and here is your uh, power supply uh, hole through which you will uh, connect your power supply and there is your mesh panel at the bottom from which the uh, power supply will suck air from now let me just flip the uh, case from the other side and show you how it looks from the other side so from the other side as you can see this is a complete metal panel right so we're back to the front view of the case and this is how the case looks from front so let me just measure the dimension of the case so that you will have an idea what is the exact uh, size of this case in different orientation so now let us measure the height of this case so starting from the bottom uh, my measuring tape at the bottom let's go to the top and as you can see the height of this case is about 17 inches high so now let us measure the size of this case from front to back so measuring it from the back to front as you can see from back to front it is also 17 inches long so we can clearly see that the case is a square shaped case and if we take a take a look at the thickness of the case or the width of the case we can see that this is about 7 inches in thickness so this is the size of this case now let us open the case up and see how it looks from inside 
Now opening the case is very easy. So you've got these four thumb screws, two at the top and two at the bottom. And because these are thumb screws, you don't even need a screwdriver to open them. So simply just open uh, them just like that. And these are not retention screws, so you will have to keep them safe once you open them. So keep them safe somewhere. And then you can simply slide this panel like that. So this is how you will open the case. So let me just do the other side as well. So other side is done as well. So let me remove this panel as well. And this is our acrylic panel. I have not removed the plastic just yet. So you can see the plastic is still there because I'm still uh, installing some components. So we don't want to scratch the acrylic just yet. Right, so now that the case is open, we can take a look at inside and how the case looks from inside. Right, so inside we have our case. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this case comes with three 120 millimeter installed fan. One is at the back and two are installed in the front as you can see there. And these fans comes with blue colored LEDs and this is our hardware uh, polythene. So this is the packaging that everything came in. So let me empty everything out. So that's pretty much it. So inside the packaging, you will get uh, two pieces of uh, rubber grommets that you can use to mount your hard disk because uh, this will give some cushioning to your hard disk. There is that. You will get two pieces of uh, cable ties. So I do not need these. These are very cheap by the way. And you get an extra cover for the PCI expansion slot. So that's a nice addition. And this is a little rare. I have not seen uh, any company including a speaker with their cabinet so but you do get a speaker so if you want to install this on your motherboard you can do that you get a small plastic tool you can use this to remove or tighten up your standoffs on the case which is a nice addition in the accessories because you don't need to use a screwdriver just to install and remove standoffs and finally you get a packaging of screws inside the screws you have these small uh, washers I'm not sure why these washers are included, maybe to prevent scratches on the case, but you get uh, at least plenty of washers in there. And finally are all the screws that you will need to install hard drives, SSDs and whatnot. So that's pretty much what you get as in terms of hardware and accessories with this case. And inside you can see that there's are uh, wires coming from the front panel connector. The good thing uh, with this case is that it comes with pre-installed uh, standoffs, so you don't have to worry about installing them by yourself. And these are the holes for your uh, pass-through holes for your wire, so that you can decide in which direction you want to connect your connectors on the motherboard. Here is the slot for your uh, power supply, and as you can see, the fan looks really nice, really clean. And on the fans, you can probably see that they are not Chinese fan; they probably manufactured in germany because they have a germany sticker on top of them on the top you can see that uh, in here you can install uh, a 3.5 mm uh, hard disk or a single uh, 2.5 mm ssd you can install four ssd in there one here one here and one here i will show you in a bit and on top you have an option for installing a dvd drive so if you are still uh, interested in installing a dvd drive you can you have that option you can do that with this case as well so that's pretty much about the case and overview from the uh, this direction and let's flip the case and take a look at from the other side as well so if i flip the case so this is how the case looks from the other side you can see we have different holes again for uh, inserting the wire towards our in the in our motherboard uh, cable management you have different uh, cable ties hook there so cable management should be a no problem on this case uh, so this is how the case looks from here right so now that we have some idea about this case let us start putting this computer together so the first thing that will install in this case is the io shield and your io shield will come with your motherboard so inside your motherboard packaging you will find something like this and this is what we will install first in this case so let me just open this so i've got a scissor here let me just cut this off there it is and just take this out so this is our IO shield and through this all our USB ports and everything that is on our motherboard will come through. So let me start install this on our case. Alright so our IO shield is now installed. Now let us install our motherboard. Right so here is our motherboard and as you can see on this motherboard we have 6 holes. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So on our case as you can see there are standoffs pre-installed. So make sure you only have as many standoffs as you need. Alright guys, so I have put the motherboard on top of the standoff and I have made sure that I have only the standoffs that I needed. So this particular motherboard needs uh, 6 standoffs 
at the bottom and I've made sure there is no extra standoff at the bottom of the motherboard that may short the motherboard when the when the computer is working and IO shield is also installed on there and everything is aligned and sometimes the screws hole doesn't align properly so sometimes you need to push the motherboard from this side towards the IO shield to align all the holes and now all we need to do is uh, tighten these screws so as you can see in the packaging with the case we got these screws and you can identify these screws uh, the screws will usually have a small lip extra skirt around there and these are the screws that will go on the uh, motherboard so it will take six screws so let me just put all of them together and make sure you don't tighten them too much uh, make sure you put all the screws first in and then you can uh, tighten them properly after the all the screws are in first so let me just do that all right guys so our motherboard is installed i have tightened up all these screws and as you can see our io shield and every connector is now matching now we know that where our each port is and this is what io shield does so we can clearly see where our usb ports are and where our input output ports so that part is done now now let us install our power supply right so here is our power supply and i'm using the ant esport vs600l and to install the uh, power supply the screws for the power supply usually comes with the power supply itself so let me just put this power supply in and then we will do all the connection for the motherboard so our purpose power supply is in let me tighten up all these screws all right so it's time to install our ssd so i will be installing my ssd here although you can also install your ssd here here and here so you can install a total of four ssd in there but i have decided decided to install my ssd on this part and this part you can't remove just like that to open this we will need to remove a small screw from the front which i have already done so let me just uh, slide this part out as you can see this part is now out and this is where we will be installing our ssd like that so here is our part so here is our ssd if you flip this over make sure that we align our holes once the holes are aligned we can install our screws so I've got one screw here. So let me put one screw in there. So after installing one screw, you will see all other holes will easily align. So let me screw uh, attach all four screws. Right, so as you can see, I've installed all the four screws. One, two, three, four. Although with SSD, only two, two screws will do. But in this case, I am installing four screws so that uh, I know where all my screws are so if I need extra screws I know where, where to find them so as you can see our SSD is now installed all I have to do now is slide this part back in so let me just do that so this is where we took this off and all I have to do is make sure that this is aligned so I have slid this back and it is now completely installed all right so now let us connect all the fans together so as you can see this case comes with uh, three 120 millimeter fans there is one uh, and the wire is coming here so the connector at the end is a molex connector but this is a weird connector as you can see it's got like uh, this and that and two fans that are in the front also has this connector so what you need to do is you need to connect all uh, all the three fans together and then we can power this uh, connect this to our power supply and this will take a normal molex connector that you have with your uh, normal power supply so this one connector can power all the three fans but first we will need to connect all the three fans together so let me show you how you can connect them together in a daisy chaining method right so let me show you how to connect all these fins fans together so first thing we will do is we will select uh, grab our front fans connector so this is the connector from the front two fans this is from the top and this is from the bottom so we will connect them together like this you take one connector and behind that connector you insert the connector of the other fan like that and then you can take the connector from the uh, fan that is installed in the back of your chassis then you will do this and as you can see all the three fans are now connected and then you can use your power supply and inside your power supply you need to find a molex connector so let me just show you where it is so as you can see this is a power supply and in the power supply you will usually find a connector like this so this is a molex connector and once all the three fans are connected in this fashion you can power this using your molex connector and your molex connector will connect at the back like so and now 
your all the three fans are connected and when you will turn your fan on when the sorry the power supply on all the three fans will be powered so this is how you connect your uh, three fans in this case all right guys so now that everything is installed in this case now let us do the front panel connection so starting with the usb connection let's look at the usb 3.0 connector on our motherboard as you can see this is a usb 3.0 connection and you can see u32 g1 so with the case you will see you will have this connector on the uh, case so this will connect here and make sure that you match this notch here this notch will go outside the motherboard and this will connect here so let me just connect that and this will give us usb 3.0 ports on our computer our usb 3.0 connector is now connected and now we can use our usb 3.0 ports now let us switch to usb 2.0 ports that are also available on this uh, case so as you can see with this case you will also get a connector like this which should say usb and you can see there is as you can see there's a pin that is blocked so make sure you match this blocked pin with the usb connector on your motherboard so this motherboard comes with two usb connectors here is one which is usb 7 8 usb 5 6 you can connect uh, this port on any of these so i will connect on the 5 6 connector which is here and as you can see in this connector one piece one pin is missing and this will help us align our usb connector so that uh, the the part which is blocked will go to the part where there is no pin so let me just connect that and this should give us usb 2.0 ports on our computer so it is now connected and now our usb 2.0 ports basically four ports two from the usb 3.0 and two from the usb 2.0 port our four ports usb ports will be working now now that our usb ports are connected now let us connect our uh, connector for the hd audio microphone and headphone jack in the front so on the motherboard you will find that there is a connector which says either it will say audio or sometimes it will also say aafp but if you can't find that you should be able to match that because the connectors will have a notch missing in the uh, middle of the connector as you can see there is a, a pin missing in the middle and this should match with the uh, ports on our motherboard which is there as you can see there is a small pin missing and this will help us align it so we'll make sure you are aligning it properly and then you can install it there so let me just do that right so our audio connector is also installed now now let us install the most important connector on any case or any motherboard which is the power on connector the computer will be of no use if you can't install this uh, power connector so as you can see on your computer case you should be able to locate a connector or pin that says power switch so this will connect to our motherboard pinout and if you look at on the motherboard on different motherboards it will be on a different place but on this particular one you can see that we have our pin out here which says power button so those these two top two pin you can see there is a pin missing and right next to those that pin we have two pins these two pins are our power uh, switch so this is where our two pin connector will connect so let me just take my uh, power switch connector and connect it there it is now connected and now we should be able to turn on our computer using the uh, front panel uh, switch on off button now let us connect our ssd so as you can see i've installed my ssd there so let me just connect my ssd cable or sata cable on a sata port so as you can see this is a sata port let us connect our sata cable you usually get this cable with your motherboard as well so connect it here it is now connected and other end will connect to our ssd so here is the other end and this should connect our ssd connect right in so insert it as you can see it is now inserted properly our ssd is now connected the only thing left to do is give some power to the ssd so find your uh, power supply so here is our power supply in our power supply there is a power cable a sata power cable available so as you can see this is a sata power cable and this should connect our ssd uh, power port so it is now connected now that our ssd is supplying data as well as it is getting power 
the only, only thing left to do is do a little bit of cable management and then let us see how the case looks when it is turned on all right guys so i have closed the case and everything is installed properly you can see our two usb 3.0 ports and two usb 2.0 ports and this is one of the reason i got this case there are not many cases available in the market that comes with four usb ports in the front and this is how the case looks after everything is completely installed as you can see it looks fairly modern kind of looks like a transformer and the moment of truth let's turn this on but before we do that let us remove uh, some of the plastic casing that is covering our acrylic panel and that way we'll be able to see how the acrylic panel actually looks like on this case so there it is so this is how the acrylic panel looks as you can see it looks fairly clean you can clearly see everything inside and before we turn this on let's remove the plastic from the front as well right so now we can clearly see how the case looks from inside and there is it appears there is a little bit of plastic left inside but i will get that off in a moment right so let's turn the case on and see how it looks so as you can see this is how the case looks when everything is turned on you can clearly see the two blue colored fans in the front these are 120 millimeter fans you can see the eyes of this case uh, the LED looks really nice although I'm not a fan of LEDs on computer cases if I had a way to turn these off I would I would turn them off immediately and that's the last fan the third fan which is also 120 millimeter and this is how the case looks from inside so looking at the inside of the case you can see that everything is visible clearly you can clearly see the SU's logo the acrylic panel because this is new it is fairly clear now uh, you can see the fan spinning there is our power supply and one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning is that the length of the graphics card that, can, that you can install in this case is about 37 centimeter. So 37 centimeter is a big enough graphics card that you can install in this uh, case. And in the beginning, I also mentioned that you can install uh, four SSDs in there. At the moment, I've installed four of them. Out of them, two are hard drives. So you can see there is a hard drive at the bottom. Then you've got a crucial MX500 SSD. Then there is a Toshiba one terabyte uh, hard drive and at the top you will see in the beginning we installed 500 gigabyte crucial BX500 SSD on which we have installed our operating system. So this is how the case looks from the side. Let me give you a side profile of the case. Nice looking case. Uh, the material feels nice to me now. In the beginning I didn't like the material but it looks uh, really nice. So it looks fairly modern, fairly simple case, not much to it. And this is how it looks from the back. The, the extrusion of the metal is good enough. So all the wires are contained there easily. So that's pretty much it about this case. And uh, I think this concludes my PC build of the Intel i5-11400 processor. So if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. If I know, I will try to answer your question as sincerely as possible. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye bye.